Good morning, parents. Hi. Um, we are happy you are here. I'm going to give you about a minute to get any necessary um, things that you would need, like a piece of paper and a pencil to take some notes. So we will start at 11.01. All right, it's 11.01, so let's get started. We want to go over Schoology today, just a brief overview. Um, the plan today would be to walk you through the Schoology platform. After I do that, I'd like to give you some additional information, and then we will take some questions related to Schoology. There is a, a phone number down at the bottom of your screen. The number is 229 409 five, six, five, two. So when we get to that part of the um, session, you can call in and we will answer questions. So to start off, I'd like for you to pull up the Google, Google Chrome, pull up Chrome. Mm -hmm. Okay, once you get into Google Chrome, let's search for Ben Hill Schools. Once you get to Ben Hill Schools, we're going to click on the link and it takes us to the district website. Up here at the top of the page, you will see a tab for schools. We want to click on schools. And we are going to go to the elementary website. This is where your child will access Schoology from Ben Hill Elementary. So we want to click on this. When you get to our website, you want to scroll about halfway down until you see these purple boxes, these purple tiles. And we're going to click on the one for Schoology. All right, we're going to enter the child's name. All right, your login information for your child will be their first name dot last name at student dot benhillschools dot org. And then their password is capital B, capital H, capital S with their lunch number and an exclamation point at the end. So once you get that information logged in, then you will click login. And it will take you to the Schoology homepage. The other way you can access this is through courses up here. So when you click on courses, this shows you all of the courses, all of the classes that your child is enrolled in. So Rita is in a homeroom class. She's in a math class with Mrs. Hester that begins at 8.30, we see. She's in a reading class with Ms. Harris, and she's in a social studies class. So every morning when your child logs on, they are going to log in with their homeroom teacher first, the subject that they teach. Let me clarify that. So if my child is in Miss Hester's class, and I'll give you guys a schedule in a few minutes. If my child is in Miss Hester's class, she teaches math. So I will log into the math class first. So I want to go to the math tile and click on it. All right. We are now inside of your child's math class. Up at the top, you have announcements. These are the folders that contain the materials that your child will need for 
the lesson. But before we get to the materials, every morning your child will start off with a conference. A conference is where the teacher will meet with the students live and will actually provide instruction. So we want to go to the conference tab on the left side and click. And we don't have a conference scheduled right now. It's already taken place today. But there is a title. And Mrs. Hester will have Friday down here or Thursday. Whatever day of the week it is will appear right here. Your child will come over here and click on the title of the conference. After the child has clicked on the title, a black box will appear and it will ask if you want to join the conference using a microphone or if you want to do audio only. Please make sure you join with the microphone. We definitely want to be able to hear you and your child, especially if they have questions. All right, give me just a second. Okay. All right, when we finish this right here, we'll come back into the um, conference app and I'll actually show you what one of these looks like. Okay, so make sure you click on the microphone. Once you've done that, a screen will appear and um, the conference session will start. And we'll go through a live one of these in just, in just a few minutes. All right, so we're going to pretend that the conference is now over. What does your child do now? They need to go over to the left to the top tab that says materials. They will click on the materials tab. And then today is Friday, so we're going to come down to the Friday folder and we'll click on Friday. And then you will see the work that needs to be complete or completed. All right, the next thing we'll do at the uh, let's say that 12 o'clock is the next time we have a conference. So we're going to go up to courses, and this conference will take place with Ms. Harris in reading. So we want to find the reading tile. We have homeroom, math, reading, and social studies. So we're going to come to the reading one. We'll click on reading. And remember, the first thing we do when we enter the folder is we want to join in on the conference. So we will click on the conference tab on the left. And here's a conference right here that hasn't started yet. So the link is not cut. <laughs> okay. All right. We have one that's been set up. So let me take you back out. I don't want to confuse you. Okay. All right. So... Let's start in homeroom. Let me come down to conferences. All right, we're going to pretend this is in the reading folder. All right, live stream training. So you will see the title of the conference. You'll click on it. How would you like to join the audio? We want to join with microphone. We want to be able to hear your child, especially if they have questions or need any help. So we're going to click microphone. You want to allow access. It'll give you an echo test to make sure that you can hear. All right, so this is your screen right here. If you notice, my microphone is, button is down here. There's another one. It's behind that number. I have a phone. That's your audio. And then a webcam. If you would, make sure the webcam is turned on. And make sure that your microphone works. When you need to mute, you click this mute button right there and it will turn off your microphone. And when you get ready to talk again, you can turn it back on. All right, when the teacher finishes the conversation, I mean, finishes the conference, the child will We're gonna come right here to log out. And then I'm going to come back to this tab up at the top and I'll go to materials. And this is where the assignment will be found. Okay. 
All right. Let me see. The next little thing on my list, let's talk about some of these buttons up at the top. Let me go back into courses. All right, this is our math class again. Up here at the top, if you have a question and you need help, you can contact your child's teacher directly through this link. So you'll click on it and an email, a message box, a new message is going to pop up and you're going to click new message and then you can send it to your child's teacher right here. You start typing their name in. There she is right there, Miss Hester. Subject, help, I need help with the problem set, and then you send. All right, so that's going to Miss Hester. When Miss Hester responds, you'll see um, a little icon up here that lets you know that there is a message in your inbox. All right, I think that's all we wanted to cover. Remember courses, you'll pretty much work between math and reading right now in these courses in third and fourth grade. In fifth grade, you will work between math, reading, and social studies. All right. All right, so the first thing that I'd like to talk to you about is when you log into Schoology, when, when you're getting ready to get on Schoology, please make sure you are using Chrome. Um, the program needs Chrome, not any of the other browsers. Attendance, let's talk a little bit about attendance for a minute. The students need to log into the live session, that's, that's the conference, every day to be counted present in addition to doing their work. Um, completing just the work and not being on the conference, um, they're not going to get credit for it because the conference is actually where the instruction is taking place. That's where the teacher is actually teaching your child how to do um, the work that they've been assigned for that day. All right, conferencing. Talking about conferencing. So, if the conference starts at 7.40 in the morning, go ahead and start logging into the platform, the Schoology platform, around 7.30. They won't be able to join the conference until the teacher starts it and that link turns blue. But just going ahead and logging in and being in the platform is a great thing to do. That way the child's ready to go when the session starts. One thing that we found out, the um, online classes that we've had right now have kind of been our guinea pigs, but one thing we found out right now is our microphones on these computers are picking up lots of background noise and it's causing some students to not, um, they're, they're not able to hear. So if you would, please make sure that your child has a quiet place to work during the conference and keep that microphone button muted. Um, if you don't mind, until the child has um, a question or is called on and needs to speak. Conference times. Let's talk about those conference times. If your child is in third grade and they are in Mrs. Gibbs' homeroom, their two conference times every day are at 7.40 and 11.10. So, for a child in Ms. Gibbs' homeroom, they would log into the reading folder and go to conferences and be ready to start at 740. They'll need to log into the math folder and be ready to start at 1110 a.m. All right, Ms. McLeod's homeroom, they will log in with math and the conference will start at 740 and then they will log in reading, and that conference will start at 11.10. Let's look at fourth grade. All right, here are the times for Ms. Harris's homeroom and Ms. Hester's homeroom. 
you'll notice a little difference in the start time. That is so the teachers can remain with their pods for planning purposes. Okay, so Harris's times are 7.30 and 12, and Ms. Hester's are 8.30 and 12. All right, fifth grade, Ms. Powell's homeroom. Those kids will start off in reading at 7.40, move on to math at 11.15, and then their last conference time of the day starts at 1.20, and you'll go to the social studies tile to start. Ms. Sword's homeroom will start at 11.40 with social studies. So when that course is, you'll go to social studies and click on that social studies tile. Then they'll do math at 8.25, reading at 11.15, and then again at 12.30. That block was split, um, lunch and planning split that block. If your child is with Mrs. Sanford and Mrs. Sutton, their class times are as follows. They will log into the social studies tile in Ms. Sword's homeroom class. That is 740. Then they will log into math at 830 and reading at 1245. All right. So now we've come to the part. Um, for questions related to Schoology from any of you. If you have a question, you're welcome to call the number 229-409-5652, and we'll get some questions answered. While those of you who have questions are calling in, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about feedback. So we really appreciate all the help that you guys are giving our students. We certainly appreciate it and couldn't do it with with, with, without you. Um, it's got to be a little tricky for you too because you've got your kid at home and some things they're able to breeze through and some things they may need a little extra support. Please feel free to help your child um, with any problems that they're having. Help them work through it. But when they actually are working out the assignment, give them time to struggle and let the, and let them struggle a little bit. That way the teacher is able to provide accurate feedback to the child. We need to know if the kids are actually struggling. Also, after they struggle with a certain standard for a while, we have extra help that we can offer. So let's see, um, provide help to your child if they need it for practice. But when it comes to completing the assignments, if you would let them struggle, and then let's get in touch with the teacher. Um, all right, I think we have a question here. I also wanted to remind you guys that this video will be available for playback afterwards. You can access yeah, it in the yeah. same place I'll get, I'll get on our school that. website, Ben Hill Elementary School website, down under VHES School News. Okay, so one of the questions is I can't always see that a submission has gone through. Um, whenever your child submits any type of assignment uh -huh. and they complete the assignment, if they click back on that assignment, it should show either at the top or the far right that the submission has been completed. So if you see in the instance of Rita, she has submissions enabled and she's made zero of two attempts. But if it were something that uh, Rita had previously submitted, you would see that submissions were still enabled here at the top and you would see you have made one of two attempts or two of two attempts. Um, if the assignment is something more like a Word document that the child has uploaded, then at the top you would see view your submission where the child had previously viewed, uh, uh, submitted the assignment. So there are two places that you can check. Again, you want to actually click on the assignment that you have 
completed the submission in to make sure that you submitted. And then at the top, either on the left or the right, depending on the type of activity, you will see the completed submission. Okay, so we will, we have a question about the YouTube videos that are, the students are unable to see. We will fix that on our end and um, hopefully we won't have that, that problem anymore. All right. All right, so while they are getting some more questions, let me just review this one more time with you. All right. Let's look back. When your child first logs in, go to courses. If your child is in Miss, let's just take Rita. Rita is in Miss Hester's homeroom, so she will start with math at 8:30. She'll click on the math tile, and the first thing she does is go to conferences. She's going to click on the conference tab. The conference will be right here under title. Click on the conference and she'll start the conference. Be sure you click access to the microphone. All right, when she finishes, she'll come to materials, she'll go to the days folder, click on it, and complete the work, okay? The next conference that Rita has is with uh, Mrs. Harris at 12 o'clock, so she'll go to courses, and that's reading. Here is reading. We'll click on reading. Same thing. First thing we always do is go to conferences, click on conferences, click on the conference title. If this conference were in session, this would be blue, and it would take you straight to the conference. When she finishes, she goes to materials, clicks on materials, and then completes the assignment for the day. Okay? Okay, so the question is, how are online students graded and assessed, and will they receive a traditional progress report? All right, grading and um, right now we are um, basically training our students on the use, using Schoology, um, and eventually, yes, we are getting to where they will be graded and you will have access to the grades um, at the end of the nine weeks. Hopefully you'll have them sooner. We'll be able to get things in place for you to have them sooner. Stay in touch with your child's teacher. But yes, you will eventually have things graded and um, have access to those. So assessed um, right now for um, the universal screeners that the kids take, we are working on a plan for those. The assessments that the classroom teachers would assign, yes, they will start having assessments once we get into grade level content. And that, would be virtually, and that is virtually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So if that is it, we appreciate you attending. Um, anytime you have a question, please reach out to your child's teacher first. And if they can't help you, then they will direct you to someone that can. Remember that you can go back and watch this video. It will be on the school website, uh, Ben Hill Elementary. And it is under the six purple tiles under BHES School News. Thank you for